Labour says trans people deserve recognition and acceptance, and it's time to remove what it calls the indignities involved in legally changing gender. We want to make sure that people who are changing their gender identity legally get a gender recognition certificate are able to do so without some of the burdens and bureaucracy, some of which can be quite dehumanising that we see today. It is really important that that's a medical process, that there's a doctor involved and there's a diagnosis of gender dysphoria. That won't change, but the process itself should be simpler. Under Labour plans, those who want their affirmed gender legally recognised on their birth certificate, for example, should no longer need the approval of a panel of doctors and lawyers. And they wouldn't need to provide documents proving they'd lived as that gender for two years. Instead, there'd be a two-year reflection period before people got a certificate. Thank you so, so much. Thank Campaigner Cleo Madeline transitioned years ago. For her, Labour's process would be simpler, but a lot more drawn out. I really think that any move away from the medical requirements is a really positive one, because we absolutely have to get past this outdated belief that being trans is in any way an illness. Um, but, you know, even that is reduced rather than, than removed. And yet for lots of people who've been out for a while, who just want to get the process done because they want to change their legal gender, because they want to get married, this additional weight is going to make that harder for them. Labour's position on trans rights has come under fire from author and former party donor J.K. Rowling, who says it's abandoned women and their fight for single-sex spaces. Few trans people have applied for gender recognition certificates, but some activists say the effect on women is the same. If that certificate makes it easier for you to use things that are intended for the opposite sex, one person can affect many, many, many people. Labour is saying you can do both. You can respect trans people and you can respect single-sex spaces for women. I totally agree with that, but you don't start with a gender recognition certificate to do that. You start with thinking about everybody's human rights. Today, the Prime Minister was in Scotland, a country which, two years ago, tried to make it much easier for people to change their legally recognised sex, but was blocked by Westminster. Rishi Sunak today claimed Labour would undermine the protections in place for women's rights and safety. The Conservative manifesto promises to change the Equality Act to define people's sex as biological sex. The Lib Dems say the gender recognition system could be less bureaucratic but still with safeguards. The Greens, though, say people should be able to simply declare their own legal gender. Many trans people have been relieved that an often fractious debate has not been weaponized in the election. But is that about to change?